Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Pac-Man ROM for your Galaxy S3 and S4. Let's see if this should be your next daily driver. So as I said guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Pac-Man ROM for your S3 and S4. So, almost all the S3s are supported. I think it's pretty much everything except the international version of the S3, and you can probably find it somewhere. And for the S4, I'll have all the links down below for the ROMs and devices that are supported. So if you want to know which devices are supported, just look down below, and I'll have them all there. So this is the Pac-Man ROM. I'll be showing you how to flash it at the end of the video. And basically what this ROM is well known for is that you get features from Paranoid Android, AOKP, and Cyanogen Mod 10.1. So you get all of that good stuff combined in one ROM. If we go to About Phone, can tell that they really want you to know the, what you are running. And if we go to the bottom, it has all the different versions of the ROMs that are mixed into this. So here we have Pac-Man version 23, so obviously a lot of versions there. AOKP version Milestone 1, MR1, Saturn Engine Mod version RC5, and Paranoid Android 3.6. So that means you're getting all of the latest AOSP ROMs all on one ROM, which is really, really cool. So some of the highlights of this ROM is that you do get the Halo feature. So if we go to System and Halo Settings, you'll first have to enable Halo. And if you go home, you should have an app in your app drawer called Halo. So we could open that up right there. So I've already added one app there. So you basically click the pin app and you could choose whichever app you want to add. So for example, let's go down and choose, for example, Tumblr. Then you could choose the icon type. You could choose default or custom. If we do custom, you could choose your own picture from the gallery. So as you can see, now they are both there. We can, of course, test to see how it would look. And it should come up somewhere here. So here we have our little test. This is for ROM statistics. So we can enable reporting. OK. And swipe away to the X. So here we have all our tests. See it opens up Tumblr and we can swipe through and basically work with any other app. So you can see you don't even have to open the app. You could still use Tumblr without opening it, which is really cool. So if we go back and we're going to go into settings, right away you can tell that they are split up into tablet UI already. So that means that you do get hybrid properties from Paranoid Android. You can basically change between stock UI, tablet UI, and tablet UI by just going to the top and clicking the little check mark. So as you can see, it's going to give me tablet UI. And there you go. So now we have tablet UI. If we swipe up from the bottom, we get our normal notification center stuff. So. Of course, we can also go back and choose something like Fablet UI if you don't want to have your navigation bar there. So if we go back and we can go into our apps, oops, you can basically change the DPI of all your apps into phone UI, tablet UI, whatever you want, the usual stuff. So that's really cool that you can do that as if you have trouble seeing apps on your S3 or S4, you can make them bigger here. So uh, in ROM control, you get all the basic stuff I've reviewed before. You can allow 180 degree rotation. You can see right here, basically you can use your phone upside down. I'll just keep it like this for the rest of the video. If we go on a lock screen, you can add all these features like all widgets, unlimited widgets, lock screen rotation, widget carousel, and then we can customize our navigation bar, our status bar, battery icons, clock, signal, and we could also customize some of the lights, like 
the system LED controls. We can change the colors for which app you want and some of the sound and vibration stuff too. So if we go back, last but not least, we do get our system settings from CyanogenMod, which means you do get Pi settings. So you could add Pi control if you want. I don't have it enabled right now, but I'm sure all of you are familiar with that by now. Hardware and keys are also customizable. We can enable custom actions and choose what we want for home key, long press, menu key, and menu key, long press. So whatever you want those actions to do. So other than that, you just, as I said, you do get a bunch of customization there. I'm not going to go over all of it since you guys are all probably familiar with that stuff by now. You can see it is blazing fast ROM, really, really quick. And the best part, I'm just kidding, this isn't the best part, but you get Pac-Man, so you can insert a coin. It's Google Pac-Man. And the Pac-Man works perfectly fine. Okay, yeah, I'm good at it. No, I'm kidding, I suck. But, so they even add a Pac-Man app. How awesome is that? So guys, uh, now I'm going to be showing you how to flash this great ROM and... Let's do it. Hey there guys. Okay, so now we're going to be going over how to flash the the Pac-Man ROM for your Galaxy S4 and S3s. So, uh, as you can see, I have Twerp running here. Uh, you can install either Twerp or Clockwork Mod, whichever recovery you want to use. You're still going to follow the same steps. So, flashing this ROM is like any ROM, and it's not going to be super difficult. So I'm going to start off, whenever you guys are flashing a ROM, please go to backup, and backup your ROM, okay? I know it might sound silly, it takes some time, but trust me, it'll all be worth it if something goes wrong, because then you'll have something to go back to, and you won't lose any data. So what we want to do first is we want to go to wipe, and uh, on twerp, it combines all of them together, but... Basically, if you're on Clockwork Mod, you're going to wipe Dalvik Cache, then you're going to wipe Data, and then you're going to wipe Cache. So those three things, just like you would normally wipe, and you're just going to swipe to wipe. So as you can see, it wiped it for me. We're going to go back, and then we're just going to wipe Data one more time, just to make sure it's all gone. So once you finish with that, there's two things you should have downloaded. You should have downloaded a ROM and gaps. The gaps are going to be the same for all the S3s, the S4s, and all your different carriers. And the ROM is going to be different. So I'll have all the links down below for the ROMs. And just make sure to choose for your right carrier and S3 or S4. So since I downloaded this on my phone, it's going to be in my SD card. And down in my download. And I have a lot of ROMs <laughs> here, so you should find it somewhere down below. There it is, Pac J F L T A T E. So that's for my S AT and T S four. So as you can see, the, these are nightly. So this is the nineteenth nightly. So I'm gonna click on that, and I'm gonna swipe to confirm flash. Um, since it is a nightly. It gets updates in the daily, so you could keep clicking on the links I left down below to see if there are any new updates. And when you flash a new update, you don't have to wipe anything. Just wipe cache and download cache, but you don't have to wipe your data, so you're not going to lose any apps or anything every night when you flash the new update. So that's kind of a benefit of this ROM and all other nightlies. So as you can see, it installed pretty quickly, and there it's done. So we're going to click back, and now, we're, of course, we're going to install our GAPS. So you can see GAPS JB2013-0301, sign zip, make sure you're flashing the right one, and we'll swipe to confirm flash. And there you go, that's it, you just click reboot system now, and your ROM should boot up fine, guys. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a, a thumbs up. 
Also, do follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, follow me on Tumblr. I'll have all the links down below, please. And you can be up to date with the latest tech news. Also, do go check out my website, www.phonetechkid.com. So, yeah, guys, that's about it. And thanks for watching.